Hi, so people ask me all the time about foreclosures and, um, you know, they feel like, first of all, there's going to be a flood of them. They think they want to wait and buy a foreclosure. And let's talk about sometimes what happens. Um, I just had a property this morning that I was showing and um, it is a foreclosure and the buyer said, well, but the bank winterized it, right? Well, the bank winterized it when they got possession of the property, which sometimes is six months a year, two, three years after the property became vacated. Um, first of all, especially after COVID, um, a lot of people you know, left their homes and then the foreclosure process, like all courts, stopped and courts completely stopped. They were not doing anything. They weren't meeting. They weren't having appointments. They, um, it took them a time before they could you know, even do virtual appointments and things like that. So everything stood still, properties included. Um, and therefore that property might have sat through a winter and had a freeze. And, and you all know we've had some terrible winters. And so there's been some negative 30 temperatures where even homes that you know might have had the best insulation or had a little bit of heat running still froze. And, and many of these of course didn't have heat running. So the process of buying a foreclosure doesn't necessarily take longer than buying a traditional home. However, the process of buying a foreclosure might mean that you're taking that property without any water being on, without heat being on, uh, without, um, you know, any electricity. Most of the time, you know, we'll see electricity on, but there might not be um, because there might be some underlying issues. And the bank says, well, you know, we don't know if the well works. We believe it probably does, but we're not going to turn the water on because we already know that there are frozen pipes in the house or cracked radiators or whatever it is, and we're not going to turn the water on to damage damage the property even further. So therefore we can't even really tell if the well works or the septic works. So just a lot of the, you know, details that go into buying a foreclosure, like I said, it's not necessarily the hassle of buying it and dealing with the bank, it's what are you taking on? And if you're in a position to be able to know that, okay, I might need to redo all of the plumbing or I might need to redo all of the heat or the radiators or whatever it is, then that's a different situation. But if you're a first time home buyer or you're a home buyer who doesn't have that um, skill and that financial ability, and your lender is not going to also be willing to take that risk and give you like a rehab loan or a reconstruction type of loan, then you know, you're a, a foreclosure, I can't talk, a foreclosure is not necessarily gonna be the best buy for you because even though it might seem like it's a lower price, it's all of that risk that you're taking on. So I just wanted to talk about that a little bit because like I said, a lot of times people come to me and say, hey, you know, um, I'd love to buy a foreclosure. I'd love to get that investment. But most of the time, it is just more than you really probably really want to bite off and really want to take on. So just talk about that a little bit. Um, as you have questions, you know, comment below, send me a message, send me a text or give me a call, 815-275-6610. Hope this helps a little bit. I do believe we will see some foreclosures coming in the next year, but I still don't believe it's going to be a flood and going to be, um, you know, a ton of them that are going to be coming on the market. So we'll talk about this more, I'm sure. Have a great day.